welcome back to a new vlog. So we are in Chiang Mai. Um, we got the overnight train last night. I done a full video on it, so it should already be up um, if you want to see that. But we just arrived there this morning. Our room wasn't ready, and we're trying to go out and get a bike now. That's what we're doing right now. We've got that down to 180 baht per day because we're staying for like four days here. Um, starving, haven't had any breakfast. Well, I had like a muffin this morning, but like I barely ate and last night, so hungry. Had about three hours sleep, dead, haven't shared, same clothes as yesterday. I, I honestly don't even know how I'm functioning right now. But yeah, I just thought I'd open this vlog here now. Um, we're staying in, I think it's called the Ray Suites. So um, I'll show you it when we get into the room because I haven't even seen it myself yet. But it does look nice. And I'll let you know how much I paid for it because I can't even remember. Oh my God, look at this. What the hell? There's Jiggy, he's more salad than anything for a critter. We've just got into our room, it's literally so nice. This was 17 pound a night and it was like one of the bigger rooms. We could have got one for like, oh, there was a step there that I did not realize. We could have got a smaller room that was like 12 pound a night, but we just thought for the extra wee bit, you get so much more space. How deadly is that sofa and all? TV, and you get this wee area too. I need to share so badly. Today has been a struggle. Oh my god, that overnight train has just completely wiped me out for the lack of sleep. Got into the room there, fell asleep for like three hours. We are up there getting food now. Um, we came to this place, I'll put it up. And I can't even speak. I just don't. This day is just. That's what I feel like. So I don't think we're going to do anything tonight. This boy has been making this crap for I'm not even joking 15 minutes. But we're the only people here 15 minutes, this way it's dropping off me. Oh my god. Okay, we bought it out. Who remembers when we got the rotten crap in Ballet that was pure hard rock? It's the exact same. Look at it, like the Nutella's were dried in. Like, thank god we, we only ordered rotting. one. I know when you get rotten. Good morning. So it's Friday morning now and we're up early this morning. Really could have done with not being up early this morning because I'm still so tired. Um, but yeah, we're going to a cooking class today, which I'm so excited about. There's been a number of cooking classes we could have done in like different places, but apparently Chiang Mai is like one of the best places to do it and it was one of the cheapest too. So we're doing a half day once we're getting picked up now at 20 to 9. And then we'll be back around 3. Um, it was a thousand baht per person and this is like a low season um, like deal is usually a thousand two hundred for half a day and a thousand four hundred for a full day so it's like two hundred baht off um, because of the low season so yeah the one we're going to is called Thai Farm Cooking School and had like loads of reviews on TripAdvisor and Google and stuff so let's hope it's good but yeah I'm actually obsessed with cooking um, I cook like the dinners at home in my house um, so yeah I'm so excited to go home and like cook these foods. So and even Dada, you'll be having Thai curry and spring rolls every night when I get home. If I'm good at cooking it, let's see. Okay, so you get to choose what you're cooking. So I went for Mazma curry, Tom Yum soup, spring rolls, and mango and sticky rice. Look at the shit on my lip liner, what the hell? Um, but we're just at a local market now because I think we get to pick our ingredients. Okay. So everybody, this one, Look like a sesame, but not sesame. It's a toilet. Uh, you just walk past down there on the back side. Okay, we're at our cooking class now. There's only seven of us, which is really good. But we've got our beans. We're making a curry paste. And then we're going to go in there. How can you get your own station? We're going to cut my up, but I don't know if I'll be able to set my camera up anywhere because it's kind of like... I know, I'll try and find somewhere, but I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. So everybody, this one is called Kaffiala. Uh, you heard about kaffir? So the kaffir. Wow. Yeah, because I would to say, this is a flower we can make drink also. It's yeah. called butterfly pea tea. And the tea have to serve with the... Let me see your chili. Spicy one. You can take like a one or two or three. Show me your herbs. 
That's all my ingredients. I got four green chilies. She says that the red's really, really, really spicy. So Ryan got two red and two green. I just got four green. Shit, they're not that bad. Where are the skills here? Hmm? Where are the skills? Our steps are done. Uh, and then how you can take your soap outside to eat. Nice. Thank you. Well, how is it? Delicious. And I would never run out. What does it run out? Tom Yum soap. You gonna get it from now on? back from that cooking class it was actually so good um i'll link the one below it was called thai 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 farm cooking school i think i'll put it down below anyway um so you can all go to it because i highly recommend they give you like a recipe book at the end and all um yeah all the food was so good that was my first time trying mango sticky rice because it's like a pure popular thing here but for some reason i was just like mango and rice like that sounds so weird never tried it unreal so delicious i'm gonna have that all the time now so that's just fantastic another dessert that i don't need to eat every day but um yeah it was actually a pure good day like when we were there like it was pure sunny and we were like also oh, typical like um because like we've no like we have a pool that's not like outside so we can't like lie or anything and then on the way back there it started absolutely pissing down like proper heavy rain so we're just gonna chill in the room for like an hour and then we're gonna go to the gym i haven't done a workout two weeks nearly three i've been to muay thai but i haven't done like weights in that long and it's just like so bad but i'm gonna go do a workout now and then well in like an hour and then yeah i'm absolutely stuffed as well because we got to eat everything and i'm just like oh my god so stuffed so i need to let this digest okay so we came to the maya shopping center Apparently you can see, not apparently I'm standing right here, you can, you can see like a good sunset from here. But we are a bit too late because we just took into consideration like sunset and not that it's set behind a pile of mountains. So obviously that'll be sooner, do you know what I mean? But yeah, there is a proper shopping centre here with like all normal shops. Um, that's a bar up there as well, like a cocktail bar. Dries got himself a wee dairy queen ice cream. Very cool. Lovely. There's like a cinema and all in here and everything. Deadly. Okay, there's also a gym in this shopping center. Oh, oh lethal! There's also a cinema, like first class, whatever that means. Cinema, and then a first class cinema. Yeah. Deadly. Oh my god, look what we just came across for one book. Look at these huskies. They're just in this cage because they're for sale, but like, what the hell? Oh my god. They are honestly the cutest ones I've ever seen, but I feel so bad. We went to that market and they didn't really have any food. One thing about like the vegetarian food markets like that, they don't have a lot of it unless there's like a proper kitchen where they can make like curries and stuff. Um, usually it's just like, you know, like chicken and all that's already set now, like, and they just need to put it on like a meat frying thing. But we came to this restaurant and seen it on another Chiang Mai vlog. They're cooking the food like right there. And this is our table. Oh, real. I think it took like 30 um. seconds. Hello. 
Good morning, we're out for breakfast here now. It isn't it Saturday? Saturday morning. We're at a place called Fern Forest. It's quite fancy. But um, we're celebrating because Diggy had a wee code mentor. What do you call it? Project? Mentoring session. Mentoring session last night. He got like a notification at 12 o'clock and he's like, should we take it? And I said, like, I like, doubt you'll be away that long. What time did he come back into the room at? He went down to the lobby to do it. Five o'clock in the morning. Five o'clock in the morning. He was doing it for what, four hours? The session lasted four hours. I literally was like, what the hell? But yeah, we had a late start because of it. They look tired. Hard working man there. Hard. I just need a coffee. Yeah. I'm sitting around doing this. <laughs> that food was absolutely insane. Jiggy, we agree. We got brunch toast, delicious, and then pancakes. On route. Okay, so we came to a wee market here. We seen it when we were driving to that cafe this morning. It's called Jing Jai. Um, I think it's only open on Saturdays or Sundays, but I could be wrong. But yeah, we're just gonna have a wee nosy about it now. Is that pan that works? <laughs> Yum. Okay, that was a feel. I think it's closed. All the wee stalls are coming down, but it's only like one o'clock. So not sure, but we got ourselves a drink and we went for a dander. Lovely. Healy Adams up to the bar. Okay, I'll do pull up first. Oh my god, this is actually good for me. People could have done nothing there. Go do it. I don't think I've ever done three pull ups. Do two. What? Two more. Two more. Grind out one more. Fish, 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 fish. That was good. That well, was good. Literally done that. Five pull ups and look at this. Seriously. Four and a half. Look at the gorgeous sunset that we are missing because there's on the room. Also, look at that dirty ass window. We're heading to a market now. There's like a market every Saturday night. And there's one on Sunday so we're gonna go to the one. They're different markets. So we're gonna go to that tonight, walk about it, get some dinner. Oh my god, how lethal does that look? Haven't even had dinner yet and already on dessert. If it's ready to get the bite in her, take another one. Here as well. That took us so long to walk to and my legs are in agony. So we're up and we're going to the elephant sanctuary today. We've actually been lifted 15 minutes early which is just fantastic. We were told we're getting lifted at half 11 and we're here at quarter past. So I'm in a bit of a rush now. I was planning to sit and like talk about it but I'll just do that when I get back to show you which one we went with and how it was and stuff. in this taxi for like two hours. Right, we've just stopped at 7 11 there, so I thought I'd talk about the elephants now. But um, yeah, so I put on my Instagram asking for recommendations because I was so stupid. I thought there was like one or two. There's loads. And I was kind of scared to just go with one and then it being like, you know, the ones that like ride elephants and stuff. Like, I don't support that. So I was like, no, I really want to make sure I'm going to like a proper good one. Um, so I did get a few different recommendations, but most of them were for Elephant Jungle Sanctuary. Um, so I decided to go with them. 
and we done the half day afternoon tour so it lifted us at half eleven well it came for half eleven and I think we go home around half six um, so the journey is like two hours well it's been an hour now um, from we got lifted we were the first ones to get lifted and then he said we have another hour from here um, in the back of that pickup which is not comfortable it's so sweaty but it's grand but yeah um, I'm really really hoping that this is a good sanctuary and I just I haven't paid for one that's like not good um, and I'm also just so really nervous like are any of them like completely ethical do you know what I mean is that I don't know I just I don't want to be like doing this and giving money just to say oh I went to see the elephants like that's not that's not what I'm about you know that sort of way so I'm really hoping when we go that it is good and they are just run by freely they're not made to do anything um so yeah fingers crossed but I'll give you my full review at the end um and let you know exactly what I thought of it and if I recommend it or not did I say the price it's 1,700 baht each for the half day as well and we're able to pay card when we get off the mine so that's handy <laughs> Go beside him. Give him a wee pat in the trunk. Go. Come on. <laughs> you're, you're far away. There's a massive gap. Diggy is obsessed with baby one. He was all, come on over and I see my baby again. Look at him. Huh? You're obsessed with a baby. I, yeah. I want him to play. I want him to like start walking under me. But it's so good. They're all just walking around like completely on their own. They're not tied up or anything. The wee baby one's so cute. I think that's the mummy because it was following everywhere. It's a wee short stumpy legs on it. Hmm. Look at this one. Pure play anything. Hey, 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 hey. Can they jump? Can they go Oh, look, look, look. Oh, he's trying his very hardest. Are there any other animals in the water? Lizards. That's Hombra. I'm not funny. Is that it? No, yeah. no lizards? No, no, no. Fuck you, fuck it up. Go, Aoife. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Stuck it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Go over and start chucking mud on him. That's like, 
Oh, it actually is rotten. Aye. Right. When are you trying to run away from him? <laughs> you ready to bolt? Are we getting out here? Because we're the only ones. So we're just back from the elephant, elephant sanctuary and it was actually so good so i'm so glad we picked that one because it was really really good so we the only time they were kind of like told what to do was when we had to feed them the bananas and they were just told to go behind the like the thing that you've seen i think because they would have just all went for the bananas and we wouldn't have been able to feed them but other than that like it was completely on the elephant's terms like what they did um we gave them like a bath and a mud bath and like they only stay down for like five minutes they were like they could stay down for five minutes or they could stay down for an hour it's completely up to them and then they just walked out and that was it like no one made them come back in because we were there and nothing like that there um so it was really good so yeah i highly recommend that company it was called elephant jungle sanctuary i think they have a few around thailand like in phuket and i'm not sure where the other ones are um so yeah i'm glad we went to it so thanks for anyone who recommended it but yeah look at me in my dairy jersey the dairy match is on tonight so doogie has wrote to a bar to see if they're playing it and apparently they are so we'll be supporting from chiang mai we've got our two jerseys on we're gonna go to the sunday night market apparently the sunday night market here is meant to be really good to get food and walk about look at this one's huge <laughs> Yeah. Look what he has to get doing right now. What? Good morning. So we decided we're actually going to spend an extra day here in Chiang Mai. So we're going to leave tomorrow instead of today. But we're just up now and we're going to get breakfast. A nice wee lion. And I'm starving. Okay, so we've came to chill at this pool. It's called Center of the Universe Chiang Mai. Um, we don't actually have like an outdoor pool at our hotel, which is annoying. Um, so we came here to like lie by the lie by the pool and sunbathe because I feel like I haven't actually sunbathed like properly in ages. Um, and it was sunny today, so we just thought, why not? We had to pay two hundred baht in each. Um, to use it for the full day. If you want to use it just for an hour, you can pay a hundred baht. But we just thought we'll just pay the bit extra and stay here for a couple hours. So yeah, we're just going to chill here. It's actually really nice and it's really quiet as well. Um, and they've got a massive pool too. If you want to do some lengths or something. I'm just going to end this vlog here now. We're actually doing the drive to Pai on the bike today which is meant to be like a really famous thing to do when you come here. So I'll explain all that in my next video, like how much we paid and where we got organized, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.